Yeah, I wanted to come back to um, one of the first parts that you uh, mentioned, Esther, when you started talking, which was um, members' concerns about, you know, John passing and like, where's our leader and what are we going to do uh, now that we don't have a leader? I mean, I remember, gosh, I don't even know, remember when this <clears throat> happened, but, you know, this this idea that I think at least some people watching this, or I know you guys um, are familiar with the idea of matrix holders and, you um, you know, you and John being the primary feminine and masculine matrix holders of the IBA. And then at one point, I remember John made it very clear in one of the IBA conferences, like, no, that's not like, that's not happening anymore. Like we are not, we are not going to be like the leaders and leading the way that really it's everyone take the lead, everyone take the lead. And it's the, um, you know, one of the concepts that is explored in some of the um, more advanced body talk classes, um, I can't remember which one, it, it used to be covered in Parama, but that's, that's taken out, I think it's in some other, like if they be finding health class, but anyway, the concept of tensegrity, right? So the idea of tensegrity is, you know, you have a, you have a structure and when that structure, when a force is applied to that structure, every part of the structure kind of absorbs that force, absorbs that blow to whatever degree they can, so that the structure doesn't collapse and doesn't just fall apart. So it's, I, you know, I really feel it like Aikido or like Tai Chi or Qigong, you know, you just absorb the blow, you absorb the energy and everyone plays their role, does what they can, takes responsibility for that. And then the structure just goes back to its natural healthy state. Once that force has, you know, when, after that force has been applied and been, that energy has been diffused, right? So I really see the IBA matrix as working towards that <laughs> it's not like that right now i don't but that is the natural state of things that is that is the state of nature i mean that is that is natural that is innate right to all of us on different levels on the level of the physical body the energy body the mental emotion i mean that's that's how we're designed that's nature's design tensegrity and so this idea of you know no one has stepped in to take the lead and who's going to lead and there's no clear leader and what are we going to do and everyone's just kind of you know trying and trying and trying to make things happen and it's not happening and you know and feeling all flustered and worried and concerned about that I think maybe people just have to stop trying, <laughs> trying so hard, <laughs> stop trying so hard to try to make something happen and make things be a particular way, the way that whoever thinks it should be. I mean, like Caroline was saying, you know, this idea of it's like healer, heal thyself, right? Practitioner, take care of thyself. It's the whole oxygen mask idea on an airplane, right? When I'm healthy, strong, clear, have more objectivity about what's happening, then I'm in a healthier place to be of service to others and to the world and um, to myself, right? To my life. So, yeah, this idea of um, tensegrity, you know, really has been on my mind lately. And I see breakthrough as playing such a huge role in helping people, helping clients, helping practitioners, just really everyone, because everyone can benefit from breakthrough, to ex to 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 get in touch with, 
right? And to express, really to express that tensegrity, that that comes naturally. It doesn't have to be, I experience a stressor and then I just collapse and I'm just bowled over by it. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. We're designed to be able to go with the flow, be the seaweed in the ocean or, you know, the, the boughs of the, the tree. That's how we're designed. But unfortunately, the mind, contents of the mind <laughs> get in the way. So I don't know, just some of my thoughts on that whole leadership piece.